What's going on, people? It's the Yu-Gi-Oh! Scrub, but please just call me Bailey. Coming at you with another Blue Eyes video. Just because I'm feeling it. I'm really hyped to play this Blue Eyes deck. It's not good, but it's really fun. As I click Join Pool, look at the three Egyptian gods. Now, what I want to ask you all is, do you just have those cards that maybe you got when you were a kid like me? I don't remember exactly how old I was, but I got these for Christmas, and... I didn't, like, destroy them. I, was, I liked them. I mean, I loved them so much that I kept them to this day, but I also didn't just, like, bend them. I wasn't that dumb. But I didn't really have a sense of, like, oh, let me put these in a sleeve right away. And so they were just out, and I would rub them and play with them. And their corners are all messed up now, and it makes me a little sad. They're still mine, the ones I got when I was a kid, so I love these cards. But I'm wondering, do any of you have cards like that that you got when you were a kid? They just make you feel something happy when you see them, even if they're a little damaged, they don't need to be in perfect condition, you just know, honestly, because they're not in perfect condition, you know they're yours. He's going to discard Thunder Dragon here, add one, two Thunder Dragon hand, I have Nobleman, Reinforcement, two Rotas in hand, duo, okay, he's going quick, six, Paladin, a White Dragon, that's unfortunate, um, I'll discard a Rota, because I have two. But he's got a hand. Heavy Nobleman Rota for me. Hopefully he's just so intimidated by my Paladin of White Dragon that he doesn't even know what to do. Um, I think I'm just going to try to get as much advantage as I can right now. I'm going to go for Heavy. Please don't be Scapegoat. Okay, that's the best call. Because now I can go for Don Zalug. and try to hit something good out of his hand. Hopefully not a Thunder Dragon. Does he want to shuffle? Heavy Storm, okay, that's good. Um, nothing to set, but because he doesn't have Heavy, I can just go ahead and do that, and I feel relatively comfortable. Hopefully he's baited to do just that. Get that out of here. Nobleman, that feels the best. Oh my gosh, that feels good. Nobleman, set face down, into set, and please, like, if this is another sock, that's one thing. Woo! That's just the best of turns you can have. Okay, unfortunately, maybe not the best. The best would have been hitting the only other unknown card in his hand. I'm just going to end on that, though, but that's almost all you can ask for. Premature Burial, okay. Just go ahead and attack. Regeki Break. Serpent in hand, okay. So he's got a lot of discard fodder. Um, I'll go ahead and just for board presence, normal summon Zombira the Dark. Zombria is... Well, how do you pronounce it? Zombira, okay. I've been right before. This is a cool card. I always didn't... I, like, just didn't know how to read, I guess, when I was a kid. I mean, I, I did, but I just would play, I think, without, like, card effects. Because I absolutely just was like, this is a big 2100 monster, and it never lost attack. I was just like, here you go. I didn't think that it could actually, you know, not be great. I like that it kind of is okay in this. I mean, it can't do anything right now. Um, I think the play is premature. And go for Don Zalug. Let's hope I can discard that card out of his hand. Snatch Steel. Okay, that's big. This is why you run Don Zalug, just as a one of in this deck. This is just going to be Don Zalug show. Tribe Infecting Virus, both Warrior. And 1600 to the face. Blue Eyes White Dragon, Snatch. Steal. Yeah, I think the play here. Put him on a timer. Even if it's a small timer, because he's going to gain a thousand. Unfortunately, I can't end the game here. But it's as much as I can do. 
if I draw a Kaiba man, this will be nice. Make sure he, yeah, he keeps gaining a thousand. 2200. I have the board presence though, and he can't summon monsters that aren't over 1600. Because I can then discard and pop. And would I discard? Maybe. Not on this board though. Stand by main. So this allows me to at least keep him from gaining extra life points with Snatch Steel. Because I can put him on a thousand life points every turn. And he'll gain and lose a thousand. Just make sure he uh, gains back that. No worries, because obviously Snatch Steel's mandatory. I can't be like, oh, it's uh, a effect that you can forget, and you just don't gain that thousand life points. No, like, absolutely they gain a thousand. Um, unfortunately... Actually, I think this could just be game. And I'll go ahead... And just in case, I'm going to go ahead and attack with the tribe. Hmm. Okay. That's interesting at the very least. If I discard and call warrior, it will destroy my card as well. I'm just gonna turn this to defense and end the turn. I'll let him gain a thousand. I have blue eyes in hand and I have a brain control and assuming he can summon a monster, I'll be able to take it, brain control, and then tribute over stuff for Blue Eyes White Dragon, and that's gonna feel good. Two White Dragon Rituals, though, doesn't feel so good. I think the play here is gonna be brain control, the DD Warrior Lady, Tribute over for Blue Eyes White Dragon. Get. I think Manju from the hand is probably going to be the play. I wish I could get Paladin White Dragon. Um, but I think Manju, because then next turn I can get Paladin White Dragon. Start making some plays. If that's Mirror Force, that's gonna suck. But, do I care? YOLO. It's Mirror Force. It's gonna be Mirror Force. Only result, like, saving grace there is that I get snatched you off the field so he's not gaining life points but you know what that just that doesn't feel great I, I don't know why i did it i just knew i could and because i can i will and of course i draw another manju okay and then go ahead and not normal, but same difference. Keep clicking normal. That's probably Sinister Serpent. I'm going to attack this one. And I think that's going to be the end of my turn. If he has Chaos, he would have already used it. And whether he has Chaos or not, he can just get over it like... Unfortunately, Paladin and White Dragon, they blue eyes can't attack. That really sucks. I wish I could tribute and then allow blue eyes to attack. Also, I just love this art. Like, that is so cool. It's like a mini, like, kind of half grown blue eyes tamed by this guy. And that, isn't that rare gold armor that he's wearing? I think it's an awesome card. Okay, that is not a good draw just because now blue eyes is in my hand. 
obviously, blue eyes drug. That's not a good drug because now blue eyes is in my hand. But when I tribute, it's going to just be, I don't run three blue eyes because that'd be really bricky. I only run two, but I try to get them out of my deck. Preferably if they're in my hand, I Kaiba Man, not use this card. But I think the play here is just going to be going for some damage. Actually, can I end the game? What's 14 plus 19? Yeah, that's definitely game. So attack with this. Unless that's like a... It's been set face down all game. Okay, there we go. That's game one. Blue eyes taken game one. Never thought it would happen, did you? Okay. Um, he had a good amount of stuff set face down. Going second. I can't take out Don Zaluk. He was just too good. Um... There we go. I don't know if that's going to be the best place, but I just want, going second, if he sets a monster and I can just be like, take, that's all I want. Just mind control, steal something and flip it, steal that effect. It's a great way to start the match. Let's hope it happens. I have the mind control. Let's hope he sets a monster. I saw three Dekoichis. Okay, I think I have it. Activate mind control. I like called this turn too. Just saying, like exactly what was going to happen, why I sided. Pfft. I'm just the most genius player that's ever lived. I will now activate Rhoda to get the Lugs. Um, because I kind of am committing to Don's Lug, I'm not going to Graceful Charity after this turn. Does he have Sakuratsu? Regeki Break. Okay, that's fine. Like, that basically does the same thing, except he just doesn't take 1400 damage. I'll just set the Call of the Haunted, change control, and end turn. I think I'm in a pretty good position here, depending on what his draws. As long as it's not like Delinquent Duo. I just hate kind of setting a bunch of cards, being like, oh, I'll keep my good cards in hand for next turn, and they just draw Duo turn three. 1400, I'll eat it. I don't want to just summon the Zalug, because I'll probably run in the Zalug, but Zalug is worth way more if it can attack than it is just being used as defensive fodder. If it was like 1300, absolutely. If he sets a monster, that's great. Sukiyomi. Okay. Kaiba man. Um, this is pretty good for me. I'm just gonna nobleman. So now if my mind controls become live, it's most likely going to be on, like, a better card, like Magician of Faith. Maybe a Sinister Serpent. I think Graceful Charity here's the play. Um, this is tough. Gonna... I'm really tempted to summon Kaiba Man and with Pryo get Blue Eyes, but that's a really neg play. But it gets damage on board. I could do 4,400. 44 plus 19. Hmm. 44 plus 19 is still not game, but it 
is certainly good or kind of funny. I think the better play here, I'm going to go just to the safer play instead of the aggressive one. I'm just, yeah, safe is better than aggressive. If I'm actually trying to win, which like when I win game one and get lucky like that, I need to go and do everything I can to like play safe and just get the second win through. Attack directly. Activate call the haunted. Attack. Does that go through? This is literally the Don's Luke match right now. Get the Tsukiyomi out of hand. I think that's the best play is just to end there. I'm like, I could maybe try to just get Manju off the field and get a bigger monster with Paladin, but then that just leaves Paladin open to getting destroyed. Okay, I'll take a one for one heavy. Well, I guess it's two for one, but really heavy and call or call and the monster one in the same. So I don't really think that's a big deal. Mind control. Uh, I wish this didn't say tribute. If this wasn't tributing, then mind control would be so much better. But normal summon. Just get that out of here. Um, 5,200... I could summon Paladin a White Dragon. That's 19. That would put him at 33. Three turn clock. I actually want him to set a monster. I'm just going to end the turn. Because if he sets a monster, I can mind control. I really wish mind control let me tribute. Okay, Pot agreed. It's only fair. He's allowed to, you know, have cards in his deck. Okay, that's good for me. Stand by main. I mean, it could be like Sinister Serpent or Sandkin, which wouldn't be great. But if it's a Magician of Faith, that's fantastic. That's why we run it. Okay. Um, so definitely going to flip. I mean, that's obvious. Now the question is... I, we just get graceful here. It's not really a question, right? I'm, like, overthinking it. Discard the Book of Moon. And... Ooh, this is tough. Is this... I wish it was also Hand, Deck, or Graveyard. I'm just gonna discard the Blue Eyes. He already's used heavy, so we can't get that back. Torrential and Mirror Force set. This has just gone my way every step of the way so far. That's a good Torrential. Paladin a White Dragon. Okay, I just have to here. I would tribute and go into blue eyes if it would give me gain next turn, but it won't. So I'd rather keep this on the field where I can have an effect. Protect it with the mirror force. If he has chaos monsters, eh, that's one thing. Okay, so he's... Hopefully he just attacks. If he attacks, that'll be great. No, he's putting a defense, so he's going to banish it. Alright, hit me for a thousand. Unfortunate. DD Warrior Lady. Hmm. This is weird, because I could hit him for a few damage. 
and then give him a Sangan effect and leave myself open to Chaos Sorcerer. No, I think I'm going to normal summon and just eat 500 and banish the Chaos Sorcerer. I'm actually just going to eat the 500 and not choose to banish. I, I, that's just the better choice. <laughs> Discard Thunder Dragon, get a couple. I hope I can find a way to Mirror Force. I mean, obviously I can Mirror Force at any point, but I wouldn't like to... Just mirror Forcing a Sangan? I mean, no. I hope he kind of pushes for game at some point. White Dragon Ritual. Okay. Unfortunate. Heavy Storm. I mean, I haven't seen many traps in his deck, so he's probably just not going to set much. I think that's probably a Sinister Serpent face down, maybe? Otherwise, he'd probably have done something. Okay. This is doing something now. Premature Burial can get me... No, the one that I summoned successfully got banished. I was like, it could get me Paladin White Dragon, but no, that's not how that would work. Could get me Blue Eyes. Blue Eyes would hit for 23, but that would be it, really. Zalug would at least get a card out of his hand. But two of them, I'm going to go for Blue Eyes. You know what? This is a blue eyes deck. I don't want this to be Zalug beats. <laughs> Let's smack him. Big boy damage with big boy dragon. Thirteen hundred is what he's at. He gets the magician of faith from the deck with the Sangan search. I have mirror force to protect my big boy dragon. Blue Eyes White. Honestly, I was a bigger fan of the Red Eyes Black Dragon back in the day, personally. And he's thinking like, oh, I can just attack him for game. You're not gonna kill me with my own dragon here. How dare you think that, sir? Get that out of here. It's Mirror Force. He went for game. I don't know why he went for that heavy. He could have just attacked with the Blue Eyes White Dragon, and that could have been fine. Alright. Just Sangan beats. 1300. He's going to go down to 3. And end my turn. Is this going to be a legendary moment where Blue Eyes White Dragon steals a match from Chaos? I really hope so. It's probably the Sinister Serpent. Just attack with the Sangan. Is it the Serpent? It's a Spy. Okay, that sucks a little bit. 1,000 damage. Hmm. I can't actually summon Pallet on a White Dragon. It's gonna set. If he has a normal summon, this is game, but... A normal summon above... I mean, I guess Sinister Serpent wouldn't do it, because that's only 300. He needs something with a thousand or more attack. He chooses to not do that. Okay, this is a pretty good heavy. No goat options. Trap, dust shoot, and uh, Sakuretsu armor. That's a really nice hit. Now. I think the play here is going to be White Dragon Ritual for... Getting rid of the Blade Knight, obviously. Yeah, okay. 
get rid of Blade Knight, summon Paladin, a white dragon. Battle phase. Destroy that with no effect. To defense. And to grave. Big blue eyes. I did that so I can get over the Gravekeeper Spy this coming turn. This is actually really nice. So, I haven't seen Mirror Force and I haven't seen Torrential. I think the best play here is just try to get over the one. I feel like I have some defense, or as much as I possibly can have. Set another. Okay, I think I go for game here. Especially because I have Book of Moon, so if he has like a Mirror Force... Please don't be a spy. I meant to attack with blue eyes, but I want to... You know what? I'm going to say I wanted to get the hit in with blue eyes last. That's the only reason I attacked, even though I meant to. Actually, I also knew that was a serpent. Ring of Destruction. And... If he... Oh, my gosh. Actually, no. You know what? If he had... If he is Chaos Sorcerer, I'm dead. Or BLS. He viewed a Graveyard so fast. Okay, no, it's because Sinister Serpent. I was saying he was going to right there. He's still viewing the Graveyard. That's game. Yep, he had the, he had the lights. Okay. I still have a chance. Mind control is good. I'm going to actually take out the mind. I'm going to slow the game down a lot. And go metas. I definitely want the aggressive. I'm like thinking, do I take out some of the warrior package? Because I saw Gravekeeper Spy. I'm going to keep Zumbira. I think I can get rid of at least one Book of Moon. Get rid of the Space Typhoon. Maybe one Rhoda. So I'm hoping that three Scapegoat and three Metamorphosis will be able to just like slow the game down and kind of let me take some control with a Thousand Eyes Restrict also stealing his monsters. I'm going to be going first this match, so hopefully if I draw Scapegoat, that'll be nice. I really want a match win with Blue Eyes. That'll feel so good. I'll go first. Kaiba Man, Blue, White Dragon Ritual, Blade Knight, Nobleman, Meta, Premature Burial. I will just summon Blade Knight and... Set Metamorphosis. Maybe I should have set the Nobleman, but I really don't want to lose that to Heavy Storm. He's got six unknown cards in hand. What is he going to do? Berserk Gorilla. So it will be able to get over my... Blade Knight, because I do not have the cards, or few cards in hand to have an effect. Kaiba Man Drost, and the Black Luster Soldier. Um, Metamorphosis. Can't get the cards out of my hand, unfortunately. I mean, actually, I suppose I could set a bunch, but do I really want to do that just to be able to run into Berserk Gorilla? 
So the looks like this maybe was a side deck just for like big beater because this does give him, unfortunately, the control over the field. If I draw like a Manju, that'd be really nice. Um, I'm just going to end turn. Yeah, unfortunately. I think the best play here is just like wait it out. Don't go too quickly. Let him. All right. That doesn't feel good. Can't banish monsters. That turns off BLS. So he's got a book of moon in hand. Thank you for accidentally. It's not setting it though. I'm just, this is a problem right now. I'm not drawing my monsters. I didn't side too many of them out. Kaiba Man just doesn't do it. And of course, after he banished this, because I could, like, set Book of Moon, or... Um, I wish that was, like, Snatch Steel. I don't know what I can do here. I have to do something, because he has exactly game on board. So... I'm gonna go ahead and set... Kaiku. Nobleman Kaiku. I understand the turn. I really could use like a scapegoat here. That would be a good draw. Manju would be a good draw. Mind control wouldn't have done anything here anyways. It's like, I don't feel too bad. It's not like, oh, if I'd only seen mind control instead of metamorphosis. Because mind control would just be like, what, take Berserk Gorilla and give it right back. Can't do anything. Don's a Lug. Does that open up any options? I think it does open up some defense if he doesn't have more monsters. I can... Yeah, that's going to be game. Okay. Blue Eyes, after getting a fun game one, loses games two and three. Sad to see it. Hopefully we'll get a win with Blue Eyes sometime in the future. I think I might be done for right now with Blue Eyes, but thank you all for watching. If you want to see more Blue Eyes, let me know down in the comments. Like, subscribe. Let me help get the, or help me get this channel to 100 subscribers. You know what? Like that's gonna be really cool. When I started this channel, didn't even know if it was gonna be like as successful as this. And this isn't. I'm not gonna call it successful, but I'm just having fun making videos, playing, doing something I'd already be doing and recording it. So hey, if you like it, thank you. Goodbye.